Hi, it's Mike and Gwen, your Classy Stampers. Uh, this is a, an, another card that we're going to make. It's uh, using the Distressed Ink. Uh, it's the Woolly Mammoth card, and uh, we have a unique style that we're going to be using. Here's what we're going to be using in this. Uh, first off, we're going to be using uh, Distress Ink, uh, three different colors of it. We'll be using Versafine, and uh, we'll be using these lovely uh, blending tools, and of course, your stamp. The other thing that we're going to be doing is while we're showing the card right here, we're going to be working on a craft sheet. This craft sheet is going to allow us to uh, 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 spread the color on. This is a, a, a old, it's an old uh, uh, way of doing these things. It's and one of Tim Holtz's ways of doing it. We're using his Distress Inks. We're, we are using Tim Holtz's Distress Inks from, uh, from Ranger. And... Uh, Here's what you're going to do, is you're going to work on a craft sheet, uh, you're going to start with your lightest ink, you're going to put that ink on the craft sheet and blend it in to the card. With circular motion. With circular motion, going all the way around it, you'll see the color starting to come out of it here a little bit, Gwen's putting more ink on the stamp. You're starting off on the craft sheet you're pulling, and bringing it, yeah. pulling it into the card. If your colors aren't even, it doesn't really matter. We want to leave a light spot in the middle, though, because that's going to be the, the little glow effect for the uh, for the woolly mammoth in there. That'll okay. be the highlight of it. Okay, we're starting with scattered straw. Scattered straw is one of the colors of the distress ink from Ranger. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use spiced marigold. Oh, we're going to spice marigold. I love the spice marigold. It's always so tasty. Once again, on the craft sheet, working your way into the paper in circular motions. And you can see that paper starting to color up now. It's uh, going from the lighter shade to a darker shade, and it's uh, looking very distressed. Are you distressed, Gwen? No, I'm never distressed. Okay, well, but you're doing a wonderful job. Of stressed, yes, distressed, no. Distressed, yes, distressed, no. Stress, yes, distressed, no. Uh, don't worry about those little clumps of stuff on there. That's just the rubber coming off of the blending tool. No, it's not. What is it? It's, what is it, Gwen? It's it just is, paper? It's just a little um, byproduct of the technique. It'll oh, it's a byproduct of the technique? Okay. Now we're going to go with walnut stain, which is our darkest oh, color. Oh, we're going with the walnut, and that's a dark stain. Once again, on the craft sheet, bringing it into the paper. So we're just trying to have the edges be much darker. The edges are getting much darker. Very nice job of blending that in. Oh yeah, you can see that turning it darker and darker all the time now here. And you can use any combination of the inks. Yes, uh, as long as it's a distress ink and you always remember you want to start off on the craft paper and bring it into the paper in circular motions. Start with your lightest. Lightest to darkest. We started with the scattered straw and then we went to the spiced marigold. And now we're doing the walnut. So we've got a little bit of a contrast here. Yes, a little contrast. And we also have that spot that we're leaving uh, plain in the middle so that it will make your woolly mammoths pop. Okay, and you can have several blending tools and just dedicate one to maybe a color family, like all your light yellows and light oranges. And Which maybe... I believe is what you've done here, haven't yes. you? Yes. You have a lighter color that you're using on the blending tool and then a darker color blending tool. That's yes. very good. See, and I got a little um, anxious there and I started to pull a little too much ink. So we're just about done. We're just about done with that, and, and, and the one thing that you will notice, and apparently stampers have no problem with this, is uh, while you're doing that, you're going to get ink on your fingers. Just a little bit, and you know what? It Which washes right off. makes it easier right if you get arrested later on. They don't have to run your fingers through that ink. They can just run it across a piece of paper and get your fingerprints. Okay, so we've got a good piece of blended paper now. We've got the good piece of blended paper, and remember, we're going to, uh, we're going to stamp that. So we're going to bring in our stamping foam pad. Remember, we always want to stamp on foam. Yeah, with these detailed stamps, it's just important to get a good image. And we're going with the Versafine ink once again because that is a pop-out ink on this. It uh, picks up all the highlights. 
in these wonderful stamps from Earth Art. Gren's going to press firmly. Are you pressing firmly? I'm pressing firmly. She, she's always pressing firmly. And there you have it. Look at that. That is a beautiful example of that. And now you're just going to mount that on another piece of paper. It's going to do a black layer to make black it Black layer pop. and a white card. Voila, you have a beautiful, beautiful card. And Pull there that you back go. Just a little bit right there in the camera. Voila, there it is. Perfect. Thank you.